ಬಂದೇ ಗುರುಪದೊಂದ ಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ಬಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ನಂದನಂದನ ಬಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾ ಚರುಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದನ ವಾಂಛಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ಅಶ್ಚಕಿ ಪಾಸಿಂದು ಬೆವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೇಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ಬಂದೇ ಪರಮಾನಂದವಾದವ ಬಿಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸಕ್ತಿ ಪದ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರು ಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದರು ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವನಮಿಷ್ಟದೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಭಿರಂಚನು ತಂ ಶರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪುನತುಪಾಲ್ಲಭವಾದಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೆ ಚರುಣಂದ ಯತ್ ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನ ಕಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋಪವಧೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗ್ರಸ ಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮೈ ಕದಾಂಕಿಷಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನೇತ್ತನಂದ ಸಿಯದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನೇತ್ತನಂದ ಸಿಯದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕ ಬುಧಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರು ಕಮಲ ಯಥಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತೋದಿವ್ಯೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನ್ನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯಟಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷಿ ತಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗ ಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ವ ಬದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ ಚ ಭಕ್ಷಿ ಯಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀ ಶಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹೃದಯ ಗಂಥೀ 
छिद्वते सर्वशंशय खियंते चकर्मा दिष्टनेवात्मनेश्वरे भिदते हृदय ग्रंथी छिदंते सर्वशंशय खियंते चकर्मा दृष्टनेवात्मनेश्वरे गौरीय गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत तो सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर बहुबाद परमहंस जगदगुरु टोल्ड माई लाइक एंड डिसलाइक वेन गोइंग टू मैच विथ सुप्रीम लॉर्ड एंड गुरु वैष्णव देन एंड ओनली देन आई कैम बी कम सेटिस्फाइड नॉट बिफोर दैट गौरीय गोष्ठीपति श्रीशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत तो सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर बहुबाद परमहंस जगत गुरु टोल्ड वेन माई लाइक एंड डिज लाइक गोइंग टू मैच विद द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड इन दैट केस आई कैन फील सैटिस्फैक्शन नॉट बिफोर दैट इट शुड बी आवर फाइनल गोल इट शुड बी आवर एफर्ट to give complete satisfaction to supreme lord whatever i have my body mind speech whatever belongings i have all it is a speciality of krishna bhajan it is a speciality of krishna bhajan to understand what is krishna bhajan i don't know how many words we'll have to take we'll have to take how many part to realize to feel what is called actual krishna bhajan some miss understanding of guru tattva vaishnav tattva bhagavat tattva i mean nitananda tattva gaur tattva all tattva we should realize some miss understanding can mislead me big problem main point is that my false ego cannot allow me to get the keepa of guru vishnu and bhagwan my false ego there is a main problem somebody can complain there is shortage of kripa but guru patpad me used to say there is not at all shortage of kripa many foreign devotees used to come to guru maharaj and cry maharaj we are coming from long distance doing so many thing but we are not making any progress in bhajan what can be the reason guru patpun used to say well point is that you are coming here in navadeep dham you think that you are taking prasadam you think that you are doing satsanga you think that you are doing harinam you think that you are going to follow ekadashi etc but you are not thinking in what position you are put into at present if i cannot discover my own position which is the most vital scientific point if i cannot discover my own point if i fail to discover my own position then where to go to front or back or right or left or up and down where i can go first of all i should discover my own position after that the question of progress can come after that the question of purity both internal purity external purity internal purity mean all the 24 hours all the 24 hours the remembrance of guru vishnu bhagwan dham naam everything leela is called internal purity external purity you will have to take bath be sure there is no contamination all the time you will have to take 
Guru Patmanam used to say, we are not thinking about Aparad. Bhaktivinoda Thakur also speaking the same thing. We are doing tilak, we are di taking diksha, we are doing everything. But we are not thinking that is there any aparat? Is there any aparat I am doing? If aparat is there, I am doing some bhajan, surely I am trying under the guidance of. But submission may be false or maybe 50 percent, maybe 80 percent. Who can say? And another point is that we are not thinking about aparat. That's why some up and down graph chart I can show you, like mathematics. In economics, you know, market going down, going up, going down. I can show you. Surely you are, that day I was explaining, but time couldn't, why I told it will take one month to explain this one, two hours, sorry, Katha. Two hours, ten hours, two hours, ten minutes, fifteen minutes. Why I told has some reason. Each and every point, if I explain, really you can go mad. It's so fine judgment there. Yes. Those who are doing Krishna Bhajan, they are very clever. Not like crow. Crow is also clever. We are also clever. We are clever like crow. This is our position. But we must be clever in true sense. What do you mean by true sense? What is your self-interest? You try to detect it first. If you are sure my self-interest is this, then you can take decision. If there is confusion about your Siddhanta Tattva, Harikatha, many body hearing Harikatha, many body reading books, I have told that. But we will have to meet with that Harikatha. <coughs> we have to meet with that Harikatha. We will have to meet with that writing by Guru Vaishnava. That is called actual hearing of Harikatha. Realization from heart. If I can hear Harikatha perfectly, I mean from heart, then Srimad Bhagavad Mahaparan speaking, Vidyate Hidaya Ganti Siddhante Sarva Sankshaya. All different kind of knots, you know, not you know, one rope with another rope. There are different kind of knots inside a heart. We don't know. We are oblivion of our sarup. We are oblivion of our sarup. We forget what is our sarup. So due to maya and due to our, I mean, our enjoy, enjoying mood, there is a different kind of knot. Strong bondage. Avidya, asmita, ahamita, all different kind of knot. You will have to open one by one one knot by the Kripa of Guru Vishnu. When you can open the knot, then you can feel free to go ahead. There can be different kind of impediments. There can be different kind of barriers. Why? Without impediments, without barrier, Krishna was not possible. What do you think? Krishna bhajan means I can give some sizable amount in bank and stay nicely and lead my life. Krishna bhajan means countless problem you will have to face with countless problem. Even Narayan bhajan is not so tough like Krishna bhajan. This is the main problem. One by one we will have to cut all different kind of knot. And if we think there should be no problem, I can ensure 
in my way or of my bhajan, there should be any form. Then I am idiot number one, foolish. The more you can try to do Krishna bhajan, the more you can feel problem. And you can automatically solve all problems by the mercy of Guru Vaishnava. But problem, problem cannot be there, should not be there, you cannot say. Because a pure Guru Vaishnava should not have any complaint against any adversive situation, anybody going to chase me, attack me, going to stop my harikatha, criticize. I told her, different kind of problems can be there. I must be ready. I was speaking some incident about my publication seva when I come back from Bindavan, sit in one room without electric. Why I told? I wanted to told, I wanted to say that though there was countless problem, countless problem, still I never feel it is problem. When my, when my love, when, when my love going to touch my seva, no father in the world can stop me. How possible? No money. Whereas I told I have no money to pay to, you know, for ten ticket. So why? I am, do, I am making any offense? No. I am, whatever I am getting, I put. Even I, you know, in pressman I say I can pay you. You print books. To sell the book? No. To distribute in our mart, in Devananda Guru, everywhere. Without, they sell it and keep it for their seva. So countless problem. No time to take prasadam. No time to take rest in the night time. Why? I was feeling happy because I could realize it is the seva given my, by my Guru Maharaj and without seva, I can never go ahead. It's an automatic. Suppose, one example I can give. Suppose my hobby uh, that I like to play football. One example. And at the same time, I am going to uh, automatically money coming out of that. Money, your hobby is going to be same. When your desire inside heart, seva, is going to match your, with your hobby, you like to do seva. In that case, you can get positive success. 100% is a must. Suppose, follow. If I, if I like mathematics from my childhood, if I like to do mathematics, surely I am going to sign in mathematics. Nobody can stop me. So love is the first thing. Be it in the field of research, be it in the field of game, anything. In the field of study, if somebody force me, you will have to study this. I cannot do. If I love, then I can catch it. Everything depends upon this man, a secret factor. If my bhajan going to back me, I like to do bhajan. I like to arrange all my time. I like to arrange all my seva in such a way so that I can do both harinam and I can hear harikatha, all, everything. Those are the very secret points. Nobody think to discuss. Very secret point. You can go forward, again you can come back. Again you can back forward, again come back. Follow. I told you now, one day you can remember. Competitive exam. Competitive exam for service. There is hundred questions. And each question bearing one mark. I told you, you can remember. But you will have to give perfect answer. If you make mistake, then you can get negative punishment. 
Suppose you are going to give answer, 50, 50 questions, okay. But 50 percent you give answer wrong. Then what is the result? 50 minus 50, zero. Though you are making 50 percent, 50 percent, okay. But 50 percent you make mistake. So what is the result? 50 means you are getting 50 marks and 50 you are going to make mistake, 50 minus 50 is zero. That is the reason for why we are, in spite of our so much effort, still we cannot make perfect, you know, progress in our bhajan. That is the main problem. So, point is that, I told already, that you will have to think always and every time, what can be the reason I am not getting interest in Harinam? What can be the reason for why I am in, indifferent in hearing Harikatha? All you will have to ask yourself. I, I, have, my, I have my relationship with your Atma. I have my relationship, I have my love with your Atma. That's why I told, I like to take you all in my lap. Don't misunderstand me. I wanted to say, all your Atma if I take, still there is so many space. In a message, in a message box, I can put countless Jivatma. You forget that. In a message box, small, you know fire, that I can put all the jivas at present in the world. So now you see. So I wanted to say, I have my actual love, perfect love with your Atma. If I can save you, then I am successful. If I fail to save you, because jivatma all, they have the free will. They can follow me, they cannot follow me. In the midway, they can stop following me, you can say. So many such cases happening. So I told actually, Bhakti Thakur many times told, we will have to think about over and again. Daily, before taking rest in the night time, today my progress is okay or not? Or yesterday, what uh, the amount of progress I made is less than that. I am going to lose something or going to get positive energy to go forward. All you will have to calculate every night. Have I done any mistake? Why I cannot do perfect now? I must be very sincere. Every day you will have to calculate. Draw one account of your bhajan every day. Those who are very nice student, those who are very intelligent student, every day they are making this kind of calculation, how much progress I made. In our time, it was the mercy of that, you know, you know, Bhagavan I know, or material master, they are material master, they have also right to bless us because senior people can. So when it is a rules, I am giving one example. One student, when going to appear in the final examination, and there is one gapping, you get one gapping now, one man, two men, after that new session can start. After exam, you can get some. Within that leisure time, you will have to read all books. Before in the school, they start you know, their slavers. Follow. That is the target of intelligent student, or fine student. Of course, I was not intelligent student, but I was habituated. Before in school, they start mathematics, we, I complete whole books. After that, I can go with them again. Or advanced level. Follow. Advanced level. You will have to Think your standard, you have to go up, stand. 
Standard level doesn't mean you are a fallen soul, you can think about a Rupanuga Bhakti Rajan. I am not thinking about that. I am giving an example of a student. A student of 10 plus, a 10 plus 2, he should read the, he should read the physics books of Nelkon and Packer from England. He should read chemistry of, you know, PK. This way, advanced level. You have to complete all before the syllabus start and you will have to take travel again. While they are doing, it is very easy because you already done, now you have to make advance. This way they are making sizable progress in their budget, in their study. There is a secrecy. And also they like, they love. Not that forcefully they do. Forcefully, if you do, then you cannot make it. So, so actually, point is that my false ego cannot allow me to meet with Hari Guru Vaishnav and Hari Katha, everything. My false ego cannot allow. There is one wall between Gurudev, Vaishnav, Bhagavan, transcendental world, Harinam, and me. There is one. There is one screen of Maya. You will have to make up that Maya. You have to cut short. In my whole lifetime, if I fail to make up this, you know, shortage, I mean the gapping, then there is no possibility I can make any any progress in my bhajan. That is the main secrecy of bhajan. That day I wanted to say so many things, but I couldn't complete because shortage of time. Naraji Maharaj speaking to Naraji Maharaj speaking in front of actually Naraji Maharaj speaking in front of that you know two you know two young men I mean young men mean demigods two demigods they are the son of Kuber Nal Kubor. Naraji Maharaj wanted to give them lesson, not because he was very angry with their attitude. In fact, a Vaishnava is never feeling attitude. Never feel. So many demons. So, I, I can show you, you can stay with me, I can show you. Those demons, they hate me. They never, I, I also never expect any pranam, dandavat from nobody. I expect dandavat from nobody. You believe me or not? What to speak about touching my leg, everything. But they actually, I give so many facility. I give everything, I impart knowledge, everything. But now, not. they are doing business. So I leave them. When I wanted to keep them with, you know, with me, that time I was feeling problem because all their sinful activity. Then I took decision to publish one letter that I speak nothing wrong. I say he is not going to, they are not going to obey my loveful instruction. That's why they can stay separately. I am not fighting with anybody. Because I have no time to fight with anybody. This is the problem. Even if they are in problem, I like to help them do. Even after if they fail. At least they can see whole day and night what I am doing. See, if I drive them away from my place, then they can get lost. At least someday. They have some trusty attitude for enjoyment, money, position, community, conscience, everything. But at least they can, in the morning time, they can look, I am taking bath, three o'clock, and doing this, that. I am not going anywhere. Everything they can. Someday they can feel. Maybe not, but someday. That's why I don't. Possibility. Very secret point of bhajan. Very, very secret point of bhajan. If I am not up to this position, then I cannot realize what is the secrecy of bhajan. 
even Bhakti Vedanta Madhav Goswami Maharaj used to say, if some maybe material sadhya, not perfect sadhya, somebody out of his you know general sadhya like to give you something, you first watch. If you see is you know material sadhya but not elevated, still you should accept it. But you can hand over to somebody. Don't give pain to that lady, that old lady, because he wants to give something to sadhu. He wants to give something to sadhu, it is one kind of backing. He can give, she can get, if you accept it. Maybe you are not going to accept it. You can take it and hand over to some needy. Follow? Many such things happen. In my life, not one incident. I go to speak Harikatha. They give a nice, you know, very costly chadar, everything. I say, I have chadar, I don't like. No, Mahara, you will have to take. Forcefully give. Then one panda, he a nice relationship with me. He never asks money from me. And used to say, Sam Baba, I know you. His name is Gridhari Panda. I used to say in Govardhan, like a beggar. He has a very nice relation. He asks money from everybody. But he never asks money from me. He knows Maharaj is not going to ask from anybody, nothing. So as a, they are actually very friendly with me. Like in English, you can say you, you, we, this. But in Bengali, there is adequacy. We have to speak apni, you know, to me, tui, three type of mood. Tui mean uh, very close, I can speak to tui. Sanskrit also. We have to use for a very honorable person, like in English, you know, your honor, you speak na, in English. So, tatra bhavam, atra bhavan, Bhavan means honorable word. Bhagavan Sri Krishna, you can so, see in Bhagavatam. Her Gopikas and Radharani using Bhavan, this Sapta, Sanskrit. Follow? So, you can see. So, this way actually, you will have to use different kind of word. Depending upon the position of that man, you want to show respect. There is so many etiquette in Bengali, Sanskrit, there is so many etiquette. So, now I like to clarify this point. Naraji Maharaj wanted to give some lesson to these two young men. They are full of false ego, full of false ego. I have enormous amount of money. So pure Vaishnava, purposely, you cannot believe. Pure, pure Vaishnava, they purposely keep them poor. But you think, you misunderstand. They purposely, they want to maintain this as very simple condition, so that outside people cannot disturb me. Follow? A poor condition, poor living, poor eating, poor clothes, purposely, to cheat outside people. They can earn money, more than you. What, what amount of money you have in your life? Within six months they can earn, in whole life you can, you know, you have earned, within six months or one year they can collect. But they don't like. If there is desire inside one sadhu, surely he is not blessed. Someday I, can, I like to discuss so deep thing, but Time is shortage. So, if somebody used to give me chadar, kapar, I said, don't give me. Just, you know, six months ago, I, in Haridwar, I was speaking Harikatha in Hindi, and Vedanta Shuto, only one and a half day, I was there. Within that, I speak Harikatha to Vedanta Shutra. Big discussion in Hindi. One Mataji, they forcefully come and giving me nice, fine clothes. I said, I cannot take. And Maharaj also coming with that Mataji. 
in my room. Room and gate. A room is very small where you can. Mean the one like Latin. Your Latin is much bigger. <laughs> Follow. Your Latin is much bigger than the place I am staying. So I feel comfortable. So that time, Maharaj bring Maharaj, you will have to take. I'm not. I cannot take. But why? But you are not going to take anything from me. I speak to that Mataji. What you have taken? You only see me. I come in the morning time, I am staying here. You are not hearing Harikatha, nothing you. Why should I take your pranami and cloth? You have to take. It's a question of the blessing of my father. What to do? Maharaj forcefully put pranami and copper in my room and gone. Like the case, I went to Radha Kund and Man Mat to speak Harikatha, they give cost each other. So many cases. Then the Panda speaking, Hey, what you can do with this chadar? Baba, some Baba. What I can do, you like to take it. He laughing. He speak with me like friend. He die actually. So many panda. They have a nice relationship. I never fight with. In my life, one unique thing is that I never fought with any Brajavasi. All Brajavasi. Be it small girl, small boy, all have my nice relationship. Even today, after, you know, 15, 20 years after, if I go there, they can remember me. I, want, I wanted to follow the mood of Sanatana Goswami. How to live in Brajodham. Follow? This way I used to live. That's why there was, you know, only Parikram, this, that. Even I am going for Parikram, when I was Gokul, from there, Gokul, Govardhan, long distance. I am coming out of room with one gamcha in my head and going. One Mataji speaking, Baba, where you are going? I am her Govardhan Parikram. You have money? You have money? How you can pay? I am not speaking anything. She ran into his room, into her room, and bring some money and give. It is the arrangement of Bhagavan. I am barefooted going to beg. Madhukuri, one small uh, lali, I mean, daughter, small. Baba, where is your chapal? I don't speak anything. I go barefooted for bhikkhya, winter season, where you cannot put your leg in the, because all mud. She run from market and give one chapal to me. So I believe. That's so, that you can ask me why I am not busy to collect money. Because I have seen, it is tested. It is tested that Bhagavan is there. Otherwise, how possible? Penniless man can uh, uh, print 60 different kind of thousands of books. And now up to now 70. You can calculate some due, uh, you know, due. Going to publish, maybe up, you know, can exceed 70. Some in Kalna. I cannot go. Before Corona, many three years, I pay him so much money, but I cannot go. So it's lying there incomplete, one Sanskrit book and three, four books. Two, three books here, almost ready. This way, if you count. So it is the arrangement of Bhagavan. Nine books at a time, I was interested to print in Delhi, Okla. Rukma Press, I can speak the name of the press, is a disciple of Naran Maharaj. Rukma Press. It's a question of lakhs of rupees. But I have no such arrangement, but all arrange. Bhagavan looking, all arrange. That's why I'm not busy to get fruits, flower, this, that, money. <laughs> because I it is tested. Bhagavan wanted to test me. In six months, I couldn't see one fruit. Six months, within six months. But I am, I, I am not from such a low family. You can realize. But still, I was habituated. I am very happy. I wanted to get this kind of life. That's why I am willing. So, main point is that our false ego not going to meet us with Guru Vaishnava. That is the main point. Now I wanted to say that Naraji Maharaj wanted to give lesson to 
this two of the pop top. Null and cover. Null cover. Because they are taking bath without any cloth. In the Ganga, I mean Mandakini. Mandakinya. In Mandakini they are taking bath. And some, you know, they are demigods actually. And some women, the Matajis from heaven, they are also enjoying. Naraji Maharaj coming this way. But those Matajis immediately come out of water and pay. But that two idiot not going to pay any dandava, nothing speaking. Naraji Maharaj speaking, not paying dandava, okay. I don't ex I never expect any dandava from anybody. But what will be the result of these two? Fallen soul. So I must uh, curse them. I must curse them. What, are, what is the reason of this curse? Actually, it is not curse. It is blessing. In your opinion, it is curse. But it is not actually curse. It is blessing. It is blessing. Naraji Maharaj speaking. Asato Shimedandhasyo Daridram Paramanjanam. Asato Shimedandhasyo Daridram Paramanjanam. What mean? Those who are very popped up, they can come to their level, I mean actual level. They can grow some humbleness. If Bhagavan somehow make them poor, follow. In Chaitanya Mahat, I was speaking Harikatha, maybe 22 years back. I can now still I can remember. Or oh, big, big exalted devotee, Kanupya Babaji Maharaj. He is almost now 100 years over. He used to love me very much. Sambhava means the time. I don't know why. He used to stay in the same you know, bed here and there when going to Harikatha. I am enjoying this kind of love from you all. That is my property. So, I was bound to say in Harikatha and Chaitanya Mahat, many Harikatha, I told one Harikatha I speak, that if I have, if I have lakhs of rupees in my pocket, in, and if I become popped up, if I feel false ego, Better I can become beggar. Better I can be. Bhagavan make me beggar. I told this Harikatha, they go mad. What's it? Yes. If some money is there, I feel papta, okay. Then better, better Bhagavan make me beggar. Because when I can become beggar, there is no, no point. No point. Because your, your building, your building of false ego, your building of false ego is constructed on the basis of four main pillars. Four main pillars, you know, there's pillar? Pillar. What is that four? Yanmo Ishaju Sruto Sri. In high family or big rich country you take birth. Follow. Janmo Oishajya. You yeah. have big amount of affluence. Follow. Shruto, you are, have big knowledgeable person you are. In ordinary sense, I speak. Because actually those who are knowledgeable, they are Tattva Gyani. So, Janmo Ishajo Shruto Sri, you are very handsome looking or very beautiful looking. Be sure these four things are one kind of curse in your life. These four things, one kind of curse in your life. But for pure devotees, it is not curse. For pure devotees, it is not curse. So I told that day, you can remember. So I told that day that Prabhupada was speaking so nice Harikatha to kick us on our head. Not that Prabhupada was a fallen soul, Prabhupada was a false, not that. Gorkisva wanted to ignore. Huh? 
Gaurakaja Babaji Maharaj wanted to avoid him. Why? It is the duty of pure Guru Vishnu to first break your false ego. Otherwise, they cannot take you in, in their lap. Guru Maharaj cannot take me in, my, in his lap. You've seen one picture, no? Never I got picture with Guru Maharaj. Who arranged? Actually, he arranged. I never wanted to get any picture with Guru Maharaj. It was an arrangement. Suddenly, Purushottam discovered. Hey, yeah, Prajura, okay. You can so probably Guru Maharaj, you know, embracing me, kissing me. So, this much thing I got from Gurudev. Love and affection, pure. This way, four pillars. That day I wanted to clear, clarify this point that Gaurkishwar Bhaji Maharaj wanted to avoid Prabhupada because he was from a very high family tradition. Bhakti Vinod Thakur is a very famous man. Even Isachanda Vidya Sagar, I mean the ocean of Vidya, material Vidya, he used to, he used to love him. Hello. So much. And this way, you see, Janmo Ishojo Sutosi as a fourth player, pillar, on the basis of which we are going to maintain, I mean, take care, we are going to take care of our false, you know, building of false ego. You can understand the exact keep of pure Guru Vishnu. When they are going to provide a kick on that fragile building, made of glass maybe, can provide a kick, all the building can break down. When the building can break down, four pillars gone, then your false ego, how you can stay inside false ego? The room of false ego itself gone now by the kick of Guru Vishnu. Follow what I say. By the kick of Guru Vishnu, all your the building of false ego broken, you become bigger. Bigger in the sense, false ego all gone. Now, you should think this is our blessing. I can give one example. When our Chitraketu Raja, Chitraketu Raja, he was giving a big platform, leader of all Gandharva. Only within seven days, by chanting mantra, day and night. Only by chanting, seven days. He get the darshan of everything clear. Follow. After that, what happened? He wanted to pass some remark as a god brother to Shankar Bhagavan. Because both of them taken diksha from Anantadeva. Shankar Bhagavan also, and he also, God brother, is joking with. But Devi Maya, I mean Parvati Devi, could not understand, she couldn't understand. She took it wrong way and wanted to curse her. Go, become a demon. Then that Vaishnava speaking, Oh, Ma, I don't, I am not uh, going to pray you. I am not going to pray you so that you can take back your cars. He is speaking, be sure I am, not, I am coming to you to pay pranam, Dandavat pranam, not because you can take back the you can take back these cars, but because it is nice scope for me. In painful situation, I can meet with painful situation. And a pure devotee, if you forcefully send, if you forcefully send them to hell, purposely, and if you send them to heaven, all same. Bhakti Thakur also speaking same thing, na? Bhakti Thakur was speaking. Shorge ba niro Bhakti Thakur speaking. I, it matters little whether I stay in the heaven. Shorge ba niro thaki. It's not a matter. Tava bhakti rohu bhakti vinodahidaye. 
Only you give me bhakti. If due to my karma fall, if I need to go, okay, I don't care. But your bhakti should be there. So, inside Vrittasur, when that Chitta Raja took birth in the form of Vrittasur, externally he is demon, but internally devotional flow. Such a devotional flow, the Indo gone mad. When, when Vittasur in the battlefield, or hand gone, blood coming all, is you know, praying to Supreme Lord. And first of all, giving lesson to Indra. He is speaking Harikatha. Indra thinking, how possible? He is a demon. Come on, he is a demon. How possible for him to speak this Harikatha? Is not possible. Actually, Yudhishthir Maharaj speaking, how it is possible. Jad asuram bhavam vihayo mahapurushatam gataha. How is possible? You are demon, but your heart I find in Mahapurush, a great soul. The kind of speech you are you know, delivering, it's 100% proof that you are a great soul. Like the case of, you know, Ruhugan, you know? Foolish. Ruhugan, Harikatha. I already explained in fifth canto, Bhagavad Harikatha. You have to go back. Thousands of Harikatha. Ruhugan is a very selfish and very popped up. But Jarabharat, not going to identify himself that I am a great son. Rather, he likes to hide himself. A pure sadhu always likes to him. By his uh, external condition, like to avoid material paper, to avoid problem. But by chance, there is so long history, I can speak someday, not today, I can touch one point. When that idiot Rahugan, he wanted to engage Jarabharat to bear the palki, you know, planquin. One man was shortage. Shortage means he was uh, feel some problem, sickness. So one man, one man shortage. How Ruhugan can go? So they search and find one foolish man in the field. I mean, they are taking care of the field night time. Ah, he is the right personality. Catch him! Hey, come! Like a beast, they catch him. He is not speaking. Why are you are taking me? Not speaking. He is pulling him. Follow. This way, you engage him to carry the plank queen. Finally, when the plank queen is going on, then he, he is Paramahansa. He is Paramahansa, not habituated to take plank, plank queen. So, he cannot keep a pace, you know, pace, you know, pace. Suppose you, you and me all carrying one thing, if you, with your step, my step, all should be, rhythm should be proper. If rhythm is not proper, if, if rhythm is not proper, in that case, the movement of the plank queen is very, become very dangerous. So, same case. Then the king inside the Franklin going speaking all rubbish. So, hey, how you are carrying Franklin? Then other three speaking, oh Maharaj, is not for us. We are not responsible. That the new man engaged, new man recently engages. He cannot keep in a rhythm with us. Then the king going to speak all rubbish to that new man. All speaking rubbish, idiot, your body is so nice, you know, healthy. I can give you know, medicine to you. Then you can carry planking properly. Huh? You are sick, huh? Because his health is very nice. That, you know, Charabharat. Finally, when he's going to speak all rubbish, I can come down from planking and beat you, give some medicine. 
Then, out of causeless mercy, our Jarvara started speaking. Maharaj, what do you mean by punishment? This material body itself one kind of punishment. What kind of new punishment you like to give to me? If one object is already fried, you can take in the pan to fry double time? He is speaking. After the speaking, you speaking that I, my health is very poor. I mean, Bentwe, he like to speak that your health is very stout, why you cannot? So Maharaj, you are speaking about good health or sickness. All it is relating, all it is related, all it is related to my material body. It is not applicable for Atma. So I am not body, I am Atma, so I am speaking. Then the king gone mad. King thinking, Hari, who is he? Speaking this kind of secret tata, jump from the planquin and check the pig. Please excuse me. I have done some mistake. I can I can go to hell. I can burn up you. Please excuse me. After that, Jarvara started speaking. This way, always, pure Guru Vaishnav, they like to arrange the situation in such a way, everybody can insult him, everybody can criticize him, everybody can avoid useless. They like so. They approved. It is one kind of, you know, procedure of their bhajan. So, this way, Naraji Maharaj speaking, Asato Shimadandhasyo Daridram Paramanjanam. It is very good if some rich man become poor. Why, why, why? It is, you are, I am not cursing. I am not giving curse. It is very good. You can stay like me. Very good. Pahari Bhajan. No money, no position, nobody can speak, give garland to me. Very good. So, asato simadandhasyo daridham paramanjana. Naraji Maharaj speaking, if this kind of, you know, people, men, are going to lose all their, the root cause for why, the root cause, I mean, for which, is feeling very puffed up. Janmo is such a Because if I break the four pillar of the building of your false ego, so you have no way. You have to come in the street. Follow. When I was a small, you know, boy, that time in my, you know, school book used to read. What is the reading? Very nice. And now I remember, I laugh. But I, that time I learned, I remember. A man living in a room made of glass should not throw stone to anybody. A man who is living in a room made of glass should not throw, throw stone to anybody. Because by chance, if they throw stone to you, your building can break up. The name of the, you know, essay was there, Old Proverbs Made New. A writer, not Indian, outside, maybe England, I cannot remember. The writer speaking, it is okay. In general, it is okay. Follow. But if you think very deeply, then you can see, that we should change this, you know. Previously it was good. Because Bhaman Gosimha used to Bhaman Gosimha used to say, I can give example. Bhaman Gosimha used to say, those who are dumb and deaf, they cannot have any enemy. But after that, later in his life, he declared, No. Even those who are dumb and deaf, they can have enemy. He told. Really so in Bhajan Pilsa. If Bhajan people saw, though one is King Jan is not asking anything, but still people can attack him. Bhagavan Maharaj told first that a dumb and deaf man, 
there should not be any, or cannot hear, cannot speak, dumb and deaf. Humpty, dumpty, you know, this one small. There was one, eh, nice. So this way you see, those who are living in the room made of glass, they should not throw stone to others. Because if by chance they throw stone to you, you can break. But the writer speaking, at present the situation is just opposite. You can leak the po political field, by all, everywhere. Those who are having, you know, weakness, they should, you know, throw stone to others. I mean, criticize others. Follow. A man who is living in a room made of glass should throw stone continuously, so that nobody can get chance to throw stone in return. The writer writing, old proverbs made new. I was laughing. Really so. Continuously, at present, the situation is there. If you have your weakness, you should throw stone continuously so that they cannot come near to you to discover your weakness, to arrest you that you are a cheater. You cannot do. Big position, big rank, big money, big temple is the only way to save yourself. Because your Siddhanta cannot prove that you are a pure sadhu, your etiquette cannot prove, your remark cannot prove, cannot at all. I can prove mathematically. But oh, I know whole world can attack me, but I can prove like mathematics. By the help of Prabhupada and Bhakti Thakur. So, Naruji Mara speaking. So, I like, okay, those who are popped up due to property, this, that, like the case of that leprosy devotee. In South, you can remember? Don't remember. South India, Mohan Mahaprabhu, in the way of, in the way of South India, when to meet one leprosy devotee, is crying. Ah, I cannot go, Prabhu, gone. Ah, he's crying heavily. Mahaprabhu, like wind, Mahaprabhu going away. When that, when that in leprosy devotee crying, then Mahaprabhu, like wind, come back and catch that leprosy devotee and give embrace. He's feeling helpless. This is called Mahaprabhu. But our leprosy, leprosy disease inside our heart is so dangerous, more dangerous than that man. That's why Mahaprabhu don't like to come to us to embrace us. We cannot see externally, but our leprosy disease is very dangerous. Almost impossible to rectify, but we can rectify. Because we can keep faith that we have strong Guru Vaishnava Bhagavan. So, actually Mahaprabhu come back. But the leprosy bees, you know, when Mahaprabhu embrace the leprosy gone, his body become golden complexion, very nice body like previous. Then the leprosy, you know, patient crying, Prabhu, why you rectify me? Why you rectify me? I was nice with humble attitude when some insect falling down from my body. There was very dangerous one, insect growing. When one insect falling down, he take the insect and put it. Where you can go, you can die. Better you can stay in my body, you can take some food. See the mood of Vaishnava. He's crying, you can, you, can, you can die. Better you can put in the, you stay in my body. Now he is crying in front of Mahaprabhu. Prabhu, why you rectify me? I was very nice with humble attitude. I was feeling I am the lowest creature in this universe. Very nice. But now, due to my nice health and everything, uh, false ego can come. Mahaprabhu bless. No. False ego cannot touch you. Go. Mahaprabhu giving power. Because immediately Mahaprabhu can translate power to anyone. Mahaprabhu giving power. Jai Jogai Madhai. 
Can you expect Jodhaima? Jodhaima they can become a devotee? It is only the mercy of Nityananda Prabhu. Causeless mercy. Mahaprabhu speaking, it is the desire of Nityananda. So Mahaprabhu, Mahaprabhu speaking to devotees. People think, people think they should take bath in Ganga after looking them. Mahaprabhu speaking. So long, people running to Ganga after looking them, they say feel impure, they go to Ganga. Mahaprabhu speaking, I, I can make them such a pure personality, so that everybody can look them and feel more, you know, benefit than taking bath in Ganga. You take them, those two demons, in my room. Mahaprabhu take them in his house. Close the door, Mahapu bless. Even Brahma Sankar cannot get, I can get. Jagai, Madai, I can give you. They are crying. After that, Mahaprabhu and all devotees and Jagai, Madai, at a time, Mahaprabhu speaking, I like to dance with them. Can you imagine? Can you imagine in any Shastra there is such document? But still we cannot do bhajan of Nityananda Gaur. Still we cannot do. We are kapat. Such a facility Mahaprabhu would like to give. Jagai Madai become so pure. They are illiterate, idiot. There is no, not, no such sinful activities. Even one, not that way. They are going all. Starting from taking wine, or everything, whatever you can think. Cutting cow, taking flesh, all bad association, all everything. Beating people, taking all their belongings, everything. But still, it is the desire of Nityananda Prabhu, so Gauranga Mahaprabhu now declared that I can, I, 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 I like to dance with them, I can give them sapram. So when Gauranga Mahapur dancing with all devotees, Nityananda, they took everybody, then Gauranga say, oh, I know that Jagai Mahadeva also dancing. After that, Jagai Mahadeva started speaking the glories of Gauranga Nityananda. Just one hour before. So fallen so. If you hear the glorification done by Jagai Mada, you can go mad. Vindavanda Stagur writing. Because Suddha Saraswati, pure Saraswati, sitting in the tongue by the desire of Mahaprabhu. Those pure devotees in their tongue, they are Suddha Saraswati, Vishnu Piyadevi, I mean Radharani, sitting in their tongue. They are glorifying. That's why they can speak Harikatha. Why outside people can pass lecture and pure devotee can speak Harikatha? What is the difference? Because Vishnu Priya Devi, Vishuddha Saraswati, pure Saraswati, or Prakita Saraswati, or I would say Radharani, because Radharani is the main Saraswati. She is the main. She is sitting in the tongue of a pure devotee. So hours after hours they can speak Harikatha. Because Saraswati is speaking. It is the Mercy of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. In Nishinga Sotta, you say, na? Bhagisha Jasya Badane. You see? Bhagisha Jasya Badane. Bhagisha means? Bhag means speech. Isha. Isha means Devi. Bhagisha. Bhag Devi means Saraswati. So, in Nishinga Sotta, you can say, Bhagisha Jasya Badane. Lakshmi Yasya Cha Bhakshasi Yasya Stihide Sanvit Dvang Nishinga Maham Here always Bhagavan keeping Lakshmi in the form of some white color. You know, triangular color. It's called, very nice, it's called Lakshmi staying here. Lakshmi wanted to uh, get place, perpetual place. So Bhagavan ran. So, this way you see, Naraji Maharaj is going to curse them, but it is one kind of blessing. So now what happens? They are going to lose everything. Now they are crying. 
Naraji Maharaj curse them, you can take bar, you know, they are crying. They are crying. You can take, you know, bar as a tree. Because with this nice human body, you are doing all rubbish activity. So, they are crying heavily. Okay, we are ignorant, we have done mistake, please find some solution. Well, in uh, Dapar Yuga, Krishna can take birth. You can take, you know, in Gokula, you can take birth as tree in Gokula. When Krishna can take birth, then can rescue you. So, you Damodar Lila, you know, Damodar Lila. So, now you say, it is called cards and blessing. There was no possibility with this mood. They, I think they could never meet with Bhagavan. By the cards of Naruchi, they went. Anyway, I can go back to my origin. You know, today is the... Someday again I can discuss this point, very secret point. Loknath Goswami, the great Gaur, Gaur Parshat, the great Gaur Parshat, who took birth in Jashore, my Guru Maharaj. So many devotees, they took birth in Jashore. Paramananda Prabhu, who not, most of them took birth in Jashore. Jashore is just as adjacent to India. At that time it was India, but anyway. So, he took birth in Jashore, Talkhori. The name of the village is Talkhori. A name of father was Paddhanabha Bhattacharya, Brahmin, very high class. Paddhanabha Bhattacharya and mother is Sita Devi. Sita Devi. He took birth and from very small age, I don't like to speak all in details about this past, I like to jump. So Loknath Goswami is the eternal person of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. When growing up, then father, mother, all Pandit, all people, they could realize is not going to stay in home. The kind of detachment, the kind of you know, love there inside heart for Bhagavan. Surely this boy cannot stay. Really so? He's going to leave home and coming to Navadip. I'm jumping, please excuse me. Going to Navadip to get the darshan of Gauranga, to get Kipa. And by chance, that time, Gauranga Mahapu was there. Gauranga Mahapu was there. Gauranga Mahapu calculating when to go for sannyas. I mean, already taken decision, one or two, three days left. One, two or three days left. Mahapu going to take sannyas. In the meantime, Loknath Goswami coming. Loktan Goswami could realize Prabhu going to take sannyas. So he, Mahaprabhu was speaking, you go to Vrindavan. I like to stay with you. Loknath Goswami could realize that Prabhu going to leave home. This is the golden opportunity. I cannot lose. I can go with Prabhu. But Prabhu repeated, no, no, go to Vrindavan. If you don't like to go, but still you will have to go. You have to carry out the order of Mahaprabhu. Go. I like to stay with you. I cannot. I can meet you. You can, you can meet me in Vrindavan. You go there. When Mahaprabhu was speaking this way, then Loknath Gosai was very, with heavy heart, he started traveling in you know, a different pilgrimage. Because Prabhu, I cannot get Prabhu. So, like Piduruji Maharaj. They are not chanchal, like you and me, that so they can travel. Viduruji Maharaj travel in different things. It is a teaser of Bhagavan. So they are going. After that, you know, when reaching Vrindavan, then somebody informed, Prabhu gone to South India. Really? Prabhu gone? To, I can also go to South India to catch Prabhu. So, he is taking decision uh, to what to do. I can go to South India. He was almost ready. Follow. And started for South India. 
After that, somebody informed Prabhu gone to Vrindavan. Ah, Prabhu gone to Vrindavan? He started running to catch Prabhu in Vrindavan. When he reached Vrindavan, when he reached Vrindavan, Prabhu by that time gone to Allahabad. Now you can say, Prabhu told I can meet with you. It is not the fault of Prabhu. Prabhu told I can meet with you in Vrindavan. Prabhu was right. But it is, you know, it is he took decision to go to catch Prabhu. Prabhu asked for, Prabhu told I can meet you. So if, uh, if he could stay there, Prabhu was supposed to meet. So when Prabhu started for Allahabad, he also took decision to go to Allahabad in the morning time, run, to catch Prabhu. But in the dream, Mahaprabhu came, well, you will have to obey me. You will have to obey me. You stay in Vrindavan, don't come to catch me. I told you to stay in Vrindavan. I could meet you, meet with you. Anyway, he couldn't break the instruction. And Loknath Goswami is the senior most devotee. Why? Because I told before taking sannyas, before taking sannyas, he came to me. That means long ago. Rupa, Sanatana, all, Vattarugana, they all came later. So everybody respect him. When he is coming to Vrindavan, you know, someday, he meet with Rupa, Sanatana, uh, Gopal Bhattu Goswami, very nice environment of bhajan. Each and everybody love him. He also love. This love exchange is the main vitamin in the life of those who are doing bhajan. It's called main vitamin. If you are not going to get this kind of kripa, mercy, love, affection in billions of years, you cannot do. Not possible. These are the main things. Nourishment. We'll have to receive from Guru Vaishnava. Anyway, so he is going to stay there, exchange view everything, or doing nice bhajan, Rupa Sanatan, you know, Raghunath Das Goswami, so many, Gopal Bhatta Goswami, they are doing bhajan nicely. Finally, Krishnadas, finally, our Krishnadas Kovirat Goswami, for the compilation of Chaitanya Charitamitra, that time he was seeking help of everybody. Like from Raghunath Das Goswami, Loknath Goswami is the senior most devotee. Please help me. Bless me and help me. You give me advice how to compile. Seeking advice, what to do? So many things I need to compile a book. Chaitanya is not a matter of his joke. Though Krishna Das Goswami already received Kipa of Bhagavan because the garland fall down. When all devotees is shouting, Aruti going on, seeking the permission from Bhagavan, then suddenly Madan Mohan and the father neck, the mala garland fall down. All everybody shouting, yes Prabhu, like the case of our Prabhupada, when Prabhupada was baby, when our Bhagavati Ma taking this baby in front of Jagannath, the garland of Jagannath fall down on the path. There's the approval. Follow. Somebody can say it is a miracle because they are idiot. Same case with Kesav Goswami Maharaj. Same case with Kesav Goswami You can say Kesav Goswami is devoid of Trinadopi. So much adversity you have. I would say Trinadopi is a topmost Trinadopi. That's why he can speak so heavily. If it's not established, then how he can Then, Kesav Goswami is asking to disciple him. You check up the calendar, which time is good, when Purnima is going to touch this earth. Kesav Goswami is asking. Why asking? Who knows? Which time is good? Though a pure Vaishnava can leave body any time, he is asking. Oh, this time is good. Okay. In the meantime, in the noontime Aruti of uh, Radha Vinod Vihari, 
the mala of Radharani fall down. Pujari coming with a you know garland to give in the you know in in the neck of Kesogusi Maharaj. The moment he give the garland, Kesogusi Maharaj leave body. Do you think they are actually false devotee, useless devotee? Can you say this way? Is it good to pass this kind of remark? This is a condition. So, this way our Guru Varga. So, Rupa, Sanatan, Haridas, Thakur, all they are going from this material world. But Lokta Goswami, that time was still there. But due to the separation, strong separation from Rupa, Sanatan, he was feeling pain inside. Very pain, cannot leave burning heart. Heart is burning, burning due to the separation. Actually, Lokanath Goswami was uh, such a great devotee that there is no, you know, explanation. I cannot boot. He used to stay in the forest of Khadirban, you know, Khaira. Khadirban, you know, twelve forests out of that one is Khadirban. You stay, stay in Khadirban. No room. It's raining like Sonatan room under a tree. Brajavasi said, Baba, we can make one bhajan kuti for. No, I cannot. At the bank of Kishari Kund. Hello. At the bank of Kishari Kund. From Khaira, when, you know, from Khaira. Many times in my life I was, you know, like mad, running around the Vrajudham. Now I have no time. This is my punishment or blessing, whatever. You can think that way. I was crazy, traveling. You know, follow. So you will have to, from Khadirban, from Nandagam, we go to Khadirban, first of all, Teri Khadam. Ru, you know, Rup Goswami Bhajan Kutir, from there, shortcut, we'll have to go to Khadirvan, long distance. From there, I have to go to, you know, uh, Jabgaon, Jabot, this guy. This is a, those who are very intelligent, they know where to go, how to go, uh, how long I'll have to go, where I can take rest, this is all. And there is no security of prasadam. If you think about how to take prasadam nicely, no question, you should not do it. Only some canary and water you can do. Strong sunlight, black and black body. Sweat coming. With one stick, a stick, to run. This way we'll have to do, if you like to do bhajan. Anyway, uh, but that doesn't mean I ask you to go and turn. Stay with me, more practical. <laughs> You're all parikam, everything's so high harikatha you can get. Not like me. So, finally, he took decision to stay in Khadirgaon. The village named Khadirgaon, Khaira. Khaira, this name came, it is nickname, nickname. When Krishna and, uh, and his friends, they used, you know, went to Khaira, long ago, not now, 5,500 years. Krishna one day going to Khadirvan and, you know, Bakasur, Bakasur one other place, and uh, Ogasu they like, you know, like to, you know, take, you know, swallow all boys. So, Krishna going to rescue them, but still, those Brajavasi they are shouting, shouting, Brajavasa, language is Brajavasa, you cannot understand. Khairo, 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 are khe phello, khe phello, eating us, eating us, run, run, run. Prajivas is speaking, Khairo, I mean, I was going to eat up. Run, 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 this demon. It's called Khairo. And from there, nickname coming, Khaira. Khodir, Khodir one. They, they are at the bank of, you know, Kishori Kunj. Kishori Kunj, there is one used to stay there. Many times I went there, anyway. So, there, and after that, uh, he is thinking, 
if I could get, if I could get Vigraha Seva, I like to get Vigraha Seva, but why I can get? I'm doing Ali Hariram and you know, Kirtan, this, that. Suddenly, somebody coming like beggar and give on deity in the hand of the Loknath Goswami. Radha, uh, uh, what is the name? Uh, Radha. Uh, Radha Vinotpana, like that. Okay, getting this. Bigra. Then Loknath was looking at the Bigra and tears rolling down his cheeks. Immediately, immediately after looking the deity, looking up, the man vanished. The man vanished. Who give this, you know? It's impossible to go away so quickly. The open field here. The, the deity is thinking over and again. Who give this deity? Eh? Repeatedly. In the meantime, Radharani, I mean the deity speaking. Who can give me? I give myself to you. Radharani speaks. Who can give you? Foolish. You are thinking. I'm giving myself to you. Oh, really? And then started crying. Ah, Prabhu. From then onward, he is going to worship, follow, like our Bhangshidas Bhavaji Maharaj. If there is one banyan tree, ah, it is Bhangshi word, nice, started dancing. Any banyan tree. And now I meet Bhangshi word. Ah, here is Krishna dancing, I can also. It's the mood of Paramahansa devotees. So there, Lokna Gusavi started, you know, worshipping everything. But Brajavasi, they are requesting, Baba, you should enter into a bhajan kuti, you are also growing age. No, I cannot. Then where you can put your uh, no, deity? Deity, where you can put? In my bed? Bed? Yes, there is one Jola. In Jola, Radha Govinda is put, you know, or sip, you know, everything, or then, after that. Now, go. Let us go to other field. Radha Govinda also going. This is the mood of seva. So much bab seva, it is inexplicable, beyond human comprehension. How possible to develop this kind of love with Bhagavan that they can teach us? We can develop love in money, position, man, woman, this is our love. But they can develop love. It is a question of teaching. Loknath Goswami was so niskinchan devotee. Even when Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami approached him to know something and blessing for, for compiling Chaitanya Jit, well, he was ready to speak something provided one condition. You cannot, you cannot give my name in Chaitanya Jit. Why, why? No. You cannot give my name in Chaitanya Chaitanya. Cannot write in details, I think. By the instruction of Loknath, uh, Kishwadas Kubiryas Prakashini wanted to write so many things about him, but cannot write. It is the order. So, this way, our Narottama Thakur, the great Narottama Thakur, the I know, Prince Rajkumar. So nice. A finally approaching Loknath. I am cutting short, please excuse me. He wanted to take shelter of Loknath Goswami. But anyway, Loknath Goswami is not giving any diksha to anybody. Have some resolution like Gorkisha Baba. In spite of resolution, Gorkisha Baba is bound to give diksha to Prabhupada. An exceptional case. And not diksha, Gorkisha Baba, you are thinking, I am making guru. He is the exalted devotee. I think I am, I am making guru, not disciple. This way. So finally what happened? Narottam Thakur wanted to take Diksha from Loknath Gusa, but anyway he is not going to give Diksha. What to do? But he is also you know, taking final decision, I mean resolution. I, I will take Diksha from him. Then, Will power of Bhagavan, Nityananda, can arrange whatever situation is feasible or 
not. Finally, when he is not going to give any diksha, then Narottam Thakur is not giving any seva. I like to serve you. No seva, go. No seva, I have no seva. Gorki seva. No seva. Don't give. So finally what happens? Narottam Thakur took decision to do some secret seva. I mean, in the morning time, I also, there was no latrine, we used to go to field. There can be snack, there can be dog, jackal, so many. But Bhagavan is there with a stick, one hurricane, I mean lantern, you have to go. With water pot, danda, you have to go. Follow. So heavy life. One day, I can remember one joking. All our, you know, some Gaudiya devotee. One devotee, they are requesting you can go to our village for preaching. There some foreign devotee also, they receive as my gone from this material world. <laughs> One American devotee. He was a lecturer of some university. So I say, okay, I can go, we can go. Uh, they cannot speak, they are a village man. Maharaj, they speak in Bengali. Maharaj, uh, for preaching, preaching, preaching. Okay, we can go. They are all going to preaching. One time I went, one time in my whole life. Follow. After, you know, dropping from 10, it takes long time and go, village. After that again, so much mud, you can go. Follow. Long ago. Because that devotee told me, one very sentimental thing. He knows that I am not going anywhere. He told, if you love my Guru Maharaj Maharaj, you will have to go. This is a sensitive point. If you love my Maharaj, you will have to go. I was very shocked. As I, this kind of condition. So I bound to go with Purushottam. Only Purushottam. There long, long ago. Purushottam. I go there. They know I am not going to eat anything. Uh, evening time, I mean afternoon time, Harikatha. After that, I speak to them, please arrange my going to catch train. I have so much seva there. They are not going to take care. Harikatha going on. After that, when I go, then I miss train. I am waiting for there for long time. After that train, come to Howrah, no, very late at night. Finally, when reach in Navadip, it was almost one o'clock over. 1 o'clock, 1.30 over, this way. So, I remember that incident, that American devotee and some Indian sub sannyasi they are going there. They are giving so much, I am not, I was not there, I never went. They are giving so much prasadam, cook and cook and giving. A village man, no, they are cooking, you know, you know, fry this, that, mara, you are, oh, oh, enough of it, no, you have to take. Now after that, when speaking, where is latrine? Well, no, no latrine. <laughs> this is Maharaj many times used to joke. You can take so much prasadam. But when I ask latrine, no latrine. <laughs> where I can go? <laughs> Follow. So usually when I go anywhere, I never take anything. Only water or coconut. <laughs> Dangerous. So this is joking. <laughs> this is Maharaj many times used to joke. Maharaj, lot of prasadam, but no latrine. Where we can go. <laughs> anyway, so this way you see, our Loknath Goswami used to go to field in the night time and start bhajan three o'clock. North Mataku taking decision, well, he cannot physically allow me to do any seva. Well, I can do this secret seva. Everybody, every day, Loknath Goswami, Gurudev going to this field. So, I can watch that field, where is, you know, going for, you know, I, with one boon and water, I can clean that place with, very nice. And then, the Loknath Goswami watching every day, who clean this place? Very nice, there's no dirtiness, everything cleared. By. Oh my God, who do it? I will have to check up one day. Then Loknath Goswami, one day after, uh, you know, um, Completing everything, now going to take bath. See, very carefully you are going to take shelter under a, under a booth. Let me see who is coming and doing. 
he watching one prince, that prince, that Nautama. He is taking the boon in the chest and speaking, how lucky you are. My Gurudev, don't allow me to take Diksha. I can die. If not getting mantra, no Diksha, then what? What use? I can leave this body. Then Loknath Goswami says, who there? Who there? No, no, no. I stop. Then he's crying and speaking. Oh my God. Testing over. Testing over. He comes successfully. Loknath Goswami was bound to give Diksha to North Water. The only disciple. Follow. After that, giving, you know, everything, how to do bhajan, everything, we are eternal person. One day, Narottam Thakur, due to his previous habit, because he's a prince, one beggar coming, a chapati, chapati, well, wait. Take some chapati and give to the beggar. I look at the Oh, you are actually the prince, you know, so you cannot stay with me. You go away. You go away. I know your mood. You cannot stay with me. We are beggar. Beggar going to give beggar to us, somebody. <laughs> A beggar giving big. So, I cannot keep. Uh, please excuse me. No, I cannot keep. Go away. Loknath Goswami was bound to go away, shedding tears. Don't like to leave Gurudev, but go away. I cannot keep you. It was one kind of mercy. If Loknath Goswami is going to stay there in Khadirvan, what we could get? It is the arrangement with Nityananda. By chance, Loknath Goswami is speaking this way, so North Thakur going all around for preaching of, you know, bhakti. And next day I can explain that language is not at all sufficient for preaching. This I can explain next day. One by one, because at a time if I discuss, you can confuse, you cannot remember. Follow. A big issue. Many times, Bhavatra. Language is not sufficient for preaching. Even without language. Even without language. Big, big, pure devotee can preach. Without language. They don't know any language. Village man. Tribal. No, nothing. What to learn? They are uneducated, nothing. Not to Pashane kutiva matha anole pushibo. Gauranga guner nidhi kotha gele pavo. Poshu paki jhure pashan vidore. Birds and beasts going to shed tears by the kirtan of Narthamataku. So what to speak about the tribal? Maybe they are tribal. But this much power is there inside the heart of Nautam Thakur to transfer bhakti. Money begets money. Don't, don't forget this point. It's the policy of businessman. Money begets money. But you should open your ears here and hear that bhakti begets bhakti. If I am devoid of bhakti, I cannot give bhakti to you. How I can give? If I am, I myself is devoid of bhakti, I don't like Bhagavan, I don't love Bhagavan, how I can transfer my follow? You should remember, I can remember that next day when I can discuss, I can point out this. And the first slok, what I wanted to speak, uh, no time, and previous also, previous day also, one slok, maybe two slok I can explain next day. Uh, still, I can give some uh, no, outline. What is that? Vidya te ganthi. All your knot there yeah, can cut. Vidya te ganthi. Shiddhante sarva sansar. Sadguru is he. Remember, Sadguru is he. In front of you, in front of him, if you reach, you can solve all your problem. All doubts. All doubts he can cut. There is a symptom of one pure devotee, pure guru, Sadguru. Can solve all problems in your life. Provided you are going to obey. 
follow. You can give appropriate scientific answer to all of your doubts and questions. So, vidyati hidayaganti, shiddhanti sarvasangsa, khyanti chasya karmani, all your karma bandha, you know? Karmi, people are karmi, no? they can cut this. Because karma bandha means it is one kind of bondage. We like to do some karma. I can do this, I can do this. That's bondage, karma. You can cut. When you can meet with Bhagavan directly, indirectly, in, in dream or while doing Harinam, you can feel Gurudev, Vaishnava, all you can see. Then all your doubts and suspicion can go away. Clean and you can get Bhakti. Vidyate Hidayaganti Siddhante Sarva Sankshaya Khyante Chasva Karmani Drishtaneva Atmanishvare Vanchakalpudrasya. 